adding disk and creating a logical volume manager partition. You look at this picture. Now at the bottom of the picture, you will see we have hard disk, hard disk one, SDA, hard disk two, hard disk three. So every hard disk, we create a partition on top of it. Now, if you are doing LVM on top of it, then you would have to create physical volume. Physical volume has to be created for each partition. Then we create a volume group. This group will represent that entire physical volumes that will, that will be coming out of those disks. And then we will create logical volumes. Once we have the logical volume, which will be exactly the same as a standard volume, but of course this will be for under LVM. And then we're gonna mount those logical volumes to our file system. So this is how it works. Let's get into our Linux machine and we'll try how it works. Now again, uh, before we get into Linux machine, we have to go to Oracle Virtual Box and we will add uh, a new disk to our Oracle Virtual Box. Okay, so this is our Oracle Virtual Box. It is powered off, so make sure it is powered off. Okay, go to the setting, click on storage, click on controller SATA, and then come down here and click on add new disk, add a hard disk, click on create new disk, leave the VDI default, dynamically allocated default, pick a name, any name that you like. Um, let's say we're gonna pick disk Oracle. So if you, if your database guy is coming to you and telling you can I have an additional space and you can label it according to the application. But again, it doesn't really matter. And the size of the disk I'm gonna pick is one gig. Then you click create. So now it is created and you simply click okay. Now, once you're gonna boot up the system, it will have the new disk. So let's start our system. Okay, so once you log in, you open up a terminal. Now go ahead and become root. Okay, and run df, sorry, fdisk minus l. Do it with more. All right, the first disk you're gonna see is the 10 gig, is the one you created during the installation. The second disk you have is for two gig that you created previously and it, it's uh, partition information and now the third disk you have if you notice it has the third letter sdc which is right here for one gig so the first gig always starts with sda second sdb and the third one sdc so we already have the disk we confirmed that so now let's start creating the partition so now if you notice from the background let's go back to the our slide the first one is hard disk we have confirmed we have the hard disk now let's create the partition so we are going to the partition if you see if you look at the picture you will see on the green ones right about the disk are the partition we will go ahead and create those partition so to create the partition is f disk space slash dev slash sdc because we are going to create disk for the third uh, partition for the third disk then you hit enter click on new n to create a new partition p for primary partition one is the first sector partition sorry first partition that you want to create so by default it's one so leave it as default and just hit enter First sector is always starts with 2048 and it is giving us by default 2048 and leave it default, hit enter. Now the size of the partition you want to create, I wanted to give the entire size so it automatically giving me the last sector of the disk. So I'll just hit enter and I'll pick the default value. So once that is done, uh, go ahead and click P. So this will tell you that your partition has been created. But again, this partition has not been written to the table yet until we do W, which is to write. 
But at this time, since we are doing LVM, I want you to type T because we are going to change the type of this partition. Why, what is T for? So if you type just help, you'll see right here, T is change partition system ID. So we wanted to change it to LVM. So I want you to type T and hit enter. And here, I want you to type L to see what are the hex code associated with LVM. So LVM is associated with 8E that I know. So 8E is somewhere here, right here. See, it says LVM 8E. So just type 8, sorry, 8E and hit enter. So now it says change type of partition Linux to LVM. So hit P again to confirm, right? See it right here, it says Linux LVM now. So now it is done. Now go ahead and type W to write to it. Now it is syncing the disk, good. So now our, um, our partition table is created. Now the next step, the next step is to create a physical volume. So right here, where it says the blue ones, dev sd1. So the third uh, step is to create physical volume. To create a physical volume, you have to run command pv create. Physical volume create and the name of the volume, which is dev sdc and the name of uh, the partition number one then you go ahead and enter and it says successfully created to verify it you could always do pv display which is to partition volume display and it will tell you that it created the volume with information uh, the pe size the pv uh, new physical volume size 1023 megabyte which is uh, one gig now we have created the um the physical volume now it's time to create the volume group so we are on the fourth step right here it says right here if you notice volume group so we're going to create a volume group the vol to create a volume group the command is vg create and the name of the volume group that you want to assign so uh, we're going to continue with our example um so we're going to uh, example of oracle so we're going to pick oracle uh, underscore LV it you could pick any name but I'm just being consistent so LV stands for a uh, volume volume um, sorry um, I should pick VG so volume group so this will identify this is this group is for Oracle and now we are assigning this volume to dev SDC one right so uh, I want you to go ahead and create hit enter and it says volume group oracle underscore vg successfully created you could go ahead and verify it by running the command vg display and give the volume name which is oracle underscore vg and it will give you the information about that group now we are done with the volume group now the fifth step is to create logical volumes so right here logical volume which is also just like a partition so now to create a logical volume you have to run the command lv create then minus n new oracle underscore v this is the name of the oracle underscore lv the size you type size as 1g because we have the size 1g and where is it going to associate it to to oracle volume group you go ahead and enter and it says volume group oracle vg has insufficient free space uh 255 extents 256 required okay i picked exact same one so what i could do is instead of that i could just um pick um, 1023 so if you know there is 1024 um, megabyte makes one gig so let's try that and hit M and hit enter uh, still not enough so I'll just pick thousand 
because it does need some of the space to hold its um, LVM information. Okay, so it is the uh, logical volume Oracle underscore LV is created. We could um, verify it by running LV display and you will see right here it is created for that group. Okay, so now that is done. Now we have to format the disk, uh, assign the the file system to it. So make file system dot xfs to dev oracle vg underscore oracle lv. This is the group right here in the middle, and this is the logical volume that we just created. So we are assigning um, XFS file system to this partition. So hit enter. So it had created now. Now it's time to mount this logical volume to our directory, wherever that our directory is. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new directory, MKR, MKDIR and call it Oracle. Directory created, now go ahead and mount it. So how are we going to mount it? We have to mount it slash dev slash oracle uh, vg slash oracle lv mounted where to oracle. It has mounted. Go ahead and do df minus h and you will see um, the df minus h. Uh, yes, right here all the way to the bottom. It has assigned um, this volume to this directory. Um, you could also unmount it with umount command. Anyway, this is how you create um, LVM new disk partition. Some of the commands are there. Uh, you just have to remember those commands, how to run them. What is the order that you have to run them? Again, the order always goes by the layout that we have. So first we have hard disk, then partition, then physical, uh, volume, then volume group, logical volume, and then mounted to the file system.